Hey you guys, thank you so much for clicking this video. My name is Maciel, just in case it's your first time on my channel. Today I have a story time for you and this will be the story of the time I rejected this guy's homecoming proposal. A lot of people have asked me to do this video and I was supposed to do it a long time ago but I'm doing it now so here it is. And the homecoming proposal actually happened about four years ago so this was a while ago. So let me take y'all back. All right, so let's get it poppin'. Pretty much there is a backstory to the main story and I'm gonna start with that for you guys. Four years ago, the summer before my junior year, I went to the movie theater and this theater was a dine-in theater so they had good food, good eats, you know. And at the end of the movies at this theater, there's always a person holding mints at the door. And I look over at the door towards the end of the movie, and there is my future husband. He is looking gorgeous, scrumptious, sent straight from above. He's beautiful. I was ready to walk to him and be like, Mint Boy. I'm going to call him Mint Boy, by the way. I was, <laughs> was going to be like, Mint Boy, you and me are meant to be. I googled. Okay. So I was ready to be like, you and me are meant to be, mint boy. And so the movie finishes, I walk up there, I'm ready to grab my lemon mint, and we make eye contact. And I was, I was you know, enjoying that moment because I figured I'd never see this kid again. Anyways, fast forward to junior year, and I'm stutting through the hallways, headphones in, and I look up, and guess who's at the end of the hallway? You guessed it, mint boy, my future husband. This was a sign for the Lord up above. So somehow, I can't remember how, but me and that boy actually ended up texting, like through Instagram and like legit texting, and we started talking to each other, like talking, talking, at least I thought we were talking, he was flirting with me. So me and my boy started texting and talking, and I'm really feeling him, and I feel like he was feeling me. I mean, all of my friends and family knew about him, like Maciel has a crush on this kid, and I, his friends knew that I had the biggest crush on him too. And it was homecoming season. And so I was convinced that Mint Boy would ask me out to homecoming. And I was so convinced that I was coming home and practicing how I would say yes to his homecoming proposal. I was like, me? Of course, Mint Boy. This is why I didn't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> but um so yeah and I heard people were telling me that he was gonna do a huge homecoming proposal so I was like oh I'm ready just tell me when and where and I will have my face looking good all right so I was working at this job at the time and I even told my manager I was like look I'm not gonna be here homecoming day because I got a date to homecoming. I haven't even said yes to the kid, but I was like, I have a date to homecoming. Don't put me on the schedule. I told my coworkers, and they were like, okay, cool, have fun at homecoming, you know? And one day I'm walking to work, I go on my Instagram, and this is when Instagram first got video. I <laughs> go on Instagram, I look down, and there's a video of Mint Boy doing a homecoming proposal to some other chick. I mean, me and the chick are pretty cool. Like, I've been her friend for a while, but it was another chick. It was not me. And he had this a big, bad, beautiful banner that said homecoming, question mark, you know, every girl's dream. He had his whole cross-country team ask this chick and flowers. I was like, wow, must be nice, you know? And right there, like, my heart broke. I was like, wow, dude really didn't ask me to homecoming. And we seriously just kind of stopped talking after that because, I mean, clearly the dude isn't interested in me if you ask somebody else, right? All right, so that's the backstory. So keep that story of Mint Boy there, the main story. So this semester of junior year, I was taking art and I had made a friend in art class and let's name him, give me a name. All right, Billy, Fucking Billy, okay. <laughs> so I made a friend and his name was Billy. Okay, so I made friends with Billy this semester, and Billy was cool, I mean, he hung out with me and my friends at art, we had our projects together, and around homecoming time, he did ask me to homecoming once, and he and I told him no, because I was ready to say yes to Mint Boy, and so I told him how I had this huge crush on Mint Boy, and he was like, wow, I'm actually in cross country with him, da, 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 da. I was like, oh really? Well, put in a good word for me, because I really like Mint Boy, so the dude knew that I had my heart set on somebody else, right? So whatever, Mint Boy, not Mint Boy, Billy, what's his name? Billy, <laughs> okay, so me and Billy are super, you know, we're, we're cool, not too cool, but like acquaintances, we help each other out in art, and somebody told me he had a crush on me, cool, you have a crush, okay, cool beans, but it started getting creepy, 
I was at work and he started showing up randomly. And like, I worked at a mall, so it wasn't like, wow, I mean, what a coincidence, you know? But he would come from like the corner and just smile at me and I didn't like that. That wasn't like, like I'm going to show you an example. I can't do it. But like he would go from the corner and literally smile and peek at me while I was doing my job. I didn't like that. Billy continued to do creepy things that made me uncomfortable. And when Mint Boy asked that other girl through Instagram, I remember at work, I, I was with my coworkers when I saw it and they were like, yikes, looks like you're going to be working on homecoming day, you know? And so I even told my manager, I was like, you know what, yeah, just put me on the schedule, I'm not going no more. Like, I was petty, I was like, I don't want to go to homecoming no more if I'm not going with Mint Boy. And so pretty much when that whole happened, that whole that homecoming proposal to the other chick happened, I walked into class and Billy was like, did you see what happened? Did you see what he did? Like, obviously I saw what he did, but I was like, yeah, I saw. And this was the second time that Billy had asked me to homecoming. And he was like, you know, I could take you. And I was nice about it. I was like, I was like, Billy, honestly, no. Like, I already told my manager I'm going to be working. And I'm really disappointed about Mint Boy not asking me. So, you know, but I can help you find a date. I even pulled that card. Like, yo, I can help you get a date if you really need a date. And obviously he didn't get the point. And so a couple days later, he kept continuing to do creepy things. I told people like, yo, he's being weird. He's being mad weird. And somebody told me that he was planning on doing a homecoming proposal. And I was like, my dude, like I just told you twice, no. Why are you putting yourself in this position? So the way that the art rooms are set up, there's like one classroom and there's a little door that connects to the next classroom. And I was cool with the teacher next door. So let's call him Mr. Mr. Cool. So Mr. Cool and I were talking and I was like, yeah, Billy's really creeping me out. And even Mr. Cool talked to Billy and was like, dude, you need to relax. And Billy obviously didn't get the hint. Fast forward to homecoming proposal day. I walk into class knowing it's homecoming proposal day for me. And everybody in class is laughing like, oh my God, Marcial has no clue. <laughs> And I walk straight to Mr. Cool's class and I'm like, my dude, like, Billy's really about to ask me to homecoming for the third time in front of people. And now I'm going to reject him in front of other people, which I did not want to do. And Mr. Cool was like, that's not cool, you know. And while we're talking, all I hear from my ear is, are you ready? And it was the creepiest thing. He came from behind my ear, hot breath, while I'm talking, and he goes, are you ready? And my mouth just drops while I'm talking to Mr. Cool. Mr. Cool's face is just like, like homeboy really just pulled the creepiest, are you ready? And so I turn around and Billy's not there. Like he ran, he dipped to go do his homecoming proposal. And I was like, yo, you know what? Whatever, let's get this over with. He wants to get rejected in front of people. Go for it. I told him. Oh, and on top of that, I told him. I told him when I found out he was doing a homecoming proposal. I was like, my dude, please don't do it because I will reject you in front of people. I do not want to go homecoming with you. I'm not trying to be mean, but like, I, I'm not like, I'm telling you not to. So if you do it, it's on you. He went through with it though. So after I turned away from Mr. Cool, I walked back to my art room and the way the art room set up, there was a giant glass window that leads you to like the crosswalk. This dude dipped so fast. I mean, Usain Bolt type fast. Like, I don't know how he got to that side of the, of the school that fast, but he did. And I look over, and he's there, right? First, you know how on homecoming proposals, like, usually the dude will get your friends to hold the signs, and, like, it's all cute, like, oh, what a personal, intimate moment. No, nah, he asked, like, two random people that I don't know. First, they were just holding two flowers. And there, there is freaking Billy holding a banner, but not just any banner, no. He asked Mint Boy if he could borrow his homecoming banner to ask me, and Mint Boy let him. I don't know what I'm more mad about, the fact that he still went through with his homecoming proposal, or that Mint Boy really was like, yeah, sure, that's Masia. Like, I didn't matter. Like, us talking didn't mean anything. <sighs> Okay, so he asked me with Mint Boy's banner, he's just holding there smiling, and I was like, no, no, especially when I realized it was Mint Boy's freaking banner, like it still irks me. I was like, no, uh-uh, honey, no. And everybody was like, yikes, oh no. And so yeah, I rejected him. See, after that whole spiel happened, 
I don't think he went to homecoming with anybody. Um, me and he sat, he started, instead of sitting with me, he ended up sitting on the whole other side of the classroom. Me and him never spoke again. Like, it's been years and I have not talked to this kid. As for Mint Boy, me and him were kind of cool ish. And looking back, I probably should have told him yes, you know, just to not embarrass him and then, you know, say no later. But that is the story of when I rejected Billy's homecoming proposal. So let me know if you guys think I'm a rude person, mean person, or if you guys would have done the same in my situation, or what you guys would have done differently. If you guys like the story time, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that pretty subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in my next video.